uh, hello YouTube this is John uh, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to resolve this issue all boot options tried uh, press F4 key to recover with factory image so to resolve this issue uh, today I got a comment on YouTube yes in the very early in the morning so this issue uh, very many people, as I told you last time, uh, very many people have been having issues. So today I've come with another live stream uh, to help uh, to help out those who are stuck. Uh, this is a Samsung Active Book 2, almost series. So what we're going to do here. I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue uh, for those uh, who want to see the process i'm going to show you how to resolve this issue uh, let me show you the comment i have my ipad here the one i used last time for streaming and our user said that let me check the notifications So I have the comment here, as you can see, this user was saying, bro, you say, try this when, can I see the screen, please say the name of what you click. And this came in eight hours ago. And let me try to, let me try to, let me try to resolve the same issue. So whatever that happens uh, in the comment sections, I will always come back to show you how to fix the error. So what you see here, if I restart the computer, uh, this Samsung, you're going to see that when you power it on, it's going to go ahead and go to this error. Hope you can see very clearly. Let me come closer. So this is the error uh, they have been talking about. And this is a, it would work on all Samsung versions of this. So I'm going to go ahead and click the, let me hold the camera. I'm going to go ahead and let me go ahead and do this here. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and click Control Alt Delete to restart the PC. After restarting, you click F2 immediately. F2 and F2 is here. This is the button you click to go to the BIOS system. You see that button? So when you go to the BIOS system to resolve that error, uh, this is what happens. Uh, right now, you can see the time is correct. And you can go ahead and click the arrow keys. So for the arrow keys are here. So we're going to click this arrow key to navigate, to move from this side to this side, to the boot. So I'm going to click once here. I click again, and I'm clicking again here. So in the video that I did almost one year ago with this laptop, and the user is for my brother, and he came in to install another new windows so what happens here whenever the laptop goes off it goes to its real original settings whenever you start it again and whatever happens when it goes to the original settings uh you will see the secure boot uh right now it is disabled let me go ahead and click the down arrow key so the down arrow key is here here so you click the down arrow key. So in your case, you will find the secure boot enabled. You can see? Yeah. So you'll see the secure boot enabled. And what happens when you see the secure boot enabled? You're going to go ahead and disable the secure boot. So let me try to save the changes. Uh, this is going to be the same way. And you can see this side. If they will explain to you what's happening if the os support when this is enabled 
for self boot so this will be asking for the original software that came with the laptop and this is an old laptop and what happens here we are going to go ahead and i'm going to show you that if i save the error is going to be the same so the previous video that i recorded one year ago with this same laptop it had the same issues so this happens and this is what i did when i was in the process so what we're going to see here let's go ahead and restart again the pc and click our f2 f2 and then we navigate again to secure to this secure boot here you have to disable this secure boot and when you disable the secure boot you have again to go to this os mode selection so when you go to the os sec our selection you have to go ahead and select both of these here down then you're going to go ahead and click enter as you can see so even the, the, the other side, they will tell you, if you want to boot with Windows 7 XP, you have to disable the secure boot and then turn it to this here. So in your case, you can always leave it in this area so that can go check for both. When it checks for both, you'll be able to resolve this issue. So this is a very easy thing. It is just for a few clicks to resolve the issue. Then I'm going to go ahead and click this. Then I'll go ahead and click F10. As you can see here, F10 is going to save and quit and restart your computer. So when we go this side, let's click F10. So our F10 is now clicked. Yes. And you're going to go ahead and say enter. So when you click enter, uh, the Windows files will load as long as you have the Windows image on your hard drive installed very well. And in our case here, we have Windows 10. Windows 10, yes. We have Windows 10. So this is for my brother, my brother's PC. I'm going to go ahead and try to install Windows 11. He told me he wants some apps. Yes, he wants some applications on the laptop so as you can see yes as you can see here it's going to load the windows files everything and this is how you resolve that issue yes this is how you resolve that issue yeah so we're good to go with the video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe comment share this video so that we can reach very many people so that they can get helped so what i'm going to do i'm going to stop from here and whatever that whenever i get a comment i'll make sure i do a live stream i did a live stream on how to install windows 11 on the dell laptop and i have it here with me yes so if you saw that video you can go ahead and I, I was looking forward to making another video. So these are the funny apps that we are installed. You may don't use antiviruses. So this is how you resolve the issue. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, share. So I'm going to log out from here. So you have to make sure that you have Windows installed whenever you get the other error. Also have to check if you have the hard drive in. Yes. So another bonus tip that I'm going to give you in this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up your PC because this piece I'm going to delete everything and back up everything. So if you want to speed up your PC after doing the, after doing everything, this is what you're going to do. So you're going to click on, let me stop this. I'm going to stop this here. It's anti virus yeah so you can imagine i don't use antiviruses on the computer i now fight them so the viruses so i'm going to go ahead and show you in this video how to make your pc run faster 
after resolving the other small issue. So you're going to click the Windows key, or you are going you can go ahead and say you can go and say run here. Then when you go to run, let me come a little bit closer. You're going to type in temp. And I'm going to make another video on this. So when you go on temp temp, so you make sure that you delete all these files in the you can see these are temporary files that could slow down your computer. This is just a tip to add on our video. So you go ahead and delete all this. It won't affect anything on your computer. You can delete all those files. You can say continue. And it's going to delete all those temporary files so that your PC runs smooth. Another thing, another tip that you can do. And this video, I'm adding this as a bonus for my people. Another thing, you can go to run. Then type in this code. Then you can say continue here. You can do the same. This is how you can speed up your PC. But in our case, we are resolving the that error that you can see in my video title. So this is just a bonus on how to you can can also delete everything here in that folder. So this will help you speed up your computer. So I'm going to skip this here. And after doing that, you can also go ahead and go to the this PC. So when you go to this PC, you can see the drive. So whenever you have your PC, make sure that the drive that has Windows has it's not like this, because whenever you load the Windows, the files it's going to first load with this C drive. So whenever you have very many things here, you can put them on the D drive. That will make your PC run faster. And what you see here, I'm going to go ahead and say properties. And when you go to properties, you're going to go ahead and say disk cleanup. Yes, and this can not work on, it's not good, it's not recommended to work on the SSD drives. You have to make sure that you have these normal drives. So as you can see here, we have temporary files that we deleted. I can see they are not there from the internet files, temporary files. Those will be, sorry about that, I was not giving the right thing. So when you go here, you can select all these things. You can see the Windows report, errors and feedback. They are having 700 MBs, almost 800 MBs. So when you see this, this is going to slow down your PC. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, this video is just a bonus. You can go ahead and uh, you can leave the downloads. You can go ahead and select the recycle bin. You can see the temporary files here. Also the thumbnails. Whenever you open photos, you're going to have these thumbnails there and you're not going to use them. They'll be in the memory. So when you do this, you're going to go ahead and say, okay uh this is another third tip on how to speed up your computer uh in the video that you're seeing we are resolving the other issue and it was a very quick one so this is just a bonus in the video uh what you're going to do next uh maybe i'll also change the title you can go ahead and uh do optimize you can optimize your disks so this will help on the fragmented files on the disk. Uh, in this process, we are speeding up the windows. And you're going to go ahead and analyze. You analyze, then to load everything. And to show you that the disk has very many fragments, just in case it has. So it shows that the D drive doesn't have any fragments. And if it has the fragments, you can always click optimize. And this one has passed the test. Then the next thing, we wait for this. And this is how you speed up your PC after resolving all the issues. When it was not starting, yes, this is how you resolve it. So I'm trying to fix the problem of 
uh, speeding up your PC. As you can see, I'm optimizing the drives. And after here, they're showing us we have two fragmented files and you can click optimize. Uh, when you optimize them, uh, this is what is going to happen. Now we are good to go. And the computer now runs a bit faster than before. So if you have been watching this video this far, thanks for watching. And please subscribe to this channel. I can click on the membership to support my uh, videos and also to help me get more energy to make more videos like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and power off this PC. And another video that I will do, I'll be able to show you how to install. Uh, this is a Core i3. As you can see, it has 6 GB RAM. It's very fast. It has Windows 10. And we're going to try to install Windows 11 on it. And this is very fast now and it won't have any lags as you can see everything loads very fast as you can see very fast so thanks for watching and i'm going to log out from here and let me switch off the pc then i'll go ahead and do the backup the way i've told you and put them the other side then i install windows so this was just a video on how to resolve that issue of when the computer is not detecting everything. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is John Galiwango. I'm logging out from now. Then I'll come back with another video about this piece. I'm going to try to make sure that I make more videos on this computer to help you understand your PC. And you can upgrade to SSDs if you want. This one's on the original those old versions of drives so if you're new to this channel i always upload tech videos and also vehicles uh car interior designing as you can see uh we do interior designing and you can see the 3d material this can be put in your car it can be put anywhere so you can contact us for our interior if you want the interior to be worked on. Uh, we work with I market JVS speaker interior designers. Yeah, it's located in Uganda, in Buziga. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, log out from this video. It has been a long one, but the video is going to be helpful for those who have issues with their Samsung laptops. Uh, have a nice time. Goodbye.